Let's together become a bit wiser, a bit more aware of what is happening inside of us and around us. The first person that will live until 1000 years has already been born. The predi prediction comes from a scientist called Aubrey de Grey. He is a pioneer in longevity and health and he predicts that there's a 50% chance that we in the next 25 years will have a technology that enables us to regener regenerate the body uh, 30 years. It means if you are 70 you will become uh, as a 40 year old becoming biologically like a 40 year old becoming feeling like a 40 year old looking like a 40 year old all your organs will become like a 40 year old scientists have for many years uh, ha um, had a passion and wanting to prevent aging from happening um, in the old days we were thinking that we want to slow down the aging process and there's a lot of scientists out there that are still trying to slow down the aging process so what is aging? Aging is basically an accumulation of damage happening to the, uh, to the body and by minimizing the damage happening to the body therefore you slow down aging well it looks like this is much more difficult than regenerating the body fixing something that has already been damaged Aubrey de Grey, he's a pioneer in this because he kind of was were pushing to make the world see that this this is a way of doing it as well as well and uh, I'll put a, a link down below so you can check him out he has uh, some great videos explaining uh, this stuff but let's go back to what is the potential of uh, becoming 1000 years old even even 10,000 years old because if you can become 1000 nothing prevents you from becoming 10,000 um, maybe only an accident because you will not age anymore so so what is the benefit of living so long well first of all imagine talking with somebody that is 1000 years old how inspiring that would be especially if you're young and you haven't seen so much how much how interesting that would be to meet such a person imagine being such a person and uh, being very wise uh, having a mastery in different fields having experienced a lot of things have seen much more than most people and imagine how humble how loving you would be i think there's also a very uh, other big benefit this is that women they could wait um um, from uh, women could wait now with having kids much later in life they could wait until they are 500 if they need to explore um, different aspects of life and need to explore who they are and and figure out and trying out different stuff now now the possibility will be here because they don't need to stress about getting kids in, on a, in an early age they could wait with this until they are 500 or 1000 same with men, they could just wait, uh, could try out different stuff before they decide to have a family. But imagine also becoming a better parent because maybe you solve some of your, your traumas, your in internal issues, and now you can be fully there for the kids, being much more loving, becoming a much better parent. Imagine those kids that will be much more well-functioning. many people are afraid of uh, this technology because they say like why why would i want to live so long why would i want to have a life that uh, that is so long it's, it, it would get boring but i i, I think uh, people that have an interesting life they usually don't don't have this opinion it is not uh, uh, that this you know the, the the technology that is the problem it is probably is the problem that uh, your life is not interesting and it's not your fault it's 
not, but I will get back to that subject some other time. You are a consequence of the system or the environment you are in. But anyway, uh, another issue, another concern people have is that we are too many people on Earth, so the Earth cannot support so many people. Well, there's two sides of this. Well, for, first, there's a physical limit on how many people there can be on Earth, but this, this limit is not reached yet because if you took all people on Earth and put them in a space or um, area like Texas and build them all houses and gardens and, 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 and apartments, there will still be room for more people. So it looks like there's a lot of space still for many more people. And uh, if we are talking about pollution or uh, sustainability of Earth, um, if we go in the direction we are going in now, uh, we are, I mean, we are not sustainable now even with the amount of people we are now. So it is, it is not technology's fault and it's not because we cannot do anything about it, it is because we are sticking to some old beliefs. For example, that everyone needs to work and that we need to burn fossil fuels to have energy. This is like, for many, many, many years, we have had the ability to create a sustainable uh, society. But it's uh, because of politics and all kinds of forces that, that prevents us from doing this. I think it is extremely uh, inspiring and it even adds to the motivation of eating healthy that you uh, will be able to live 1000 years. Uh, because if you are like me, 30, 40 years old, you know, the chances of you reaching this medicine, they are uh, much slimmer uh, or smaller than, than somebody that is 20 years old. So your motivation for eating healthy now increased a lot. Not only for feeling better, but also for the, for, for the chance that you now have a bigger, you will have now a bigger chance to actually experience this medicine. And let's, uh, let's talk about the medicine. Well, the first uh, version of the medicine will not be perfect. If there will be no improvement to the medicine, eventually you will die because the medicine will only regenerate some things, but cannot regenerate everything. So the first version will be flawed. But, um, you know, it's much harder to invent a technology than it is to improve on an existing technology. So it means basically uh, if if you uh, become so lucky that you experience this technology and begin to t take this, this medicine and you become younger, you bought yourself 30 years of living. Now, in those 30 years, the technology will be improved several times. This is very likely because it is much easier to improve on a technology that is existing than invent one. So, it will be improved many times in those 30 years, probably improving how much can be regenerated and therefore you will be able to regenerate more and more and more and therefore you might just make it until the, the, the medicine, the technology is so refined that we can basically live a thousand years or even 10,000 years. The only thing that will prevent us from living 10,000 years or maybe 100,000 years is that uh, there is a very small chance of an accident. So today, there's a chance if you go on the street that you'll be hit by a car. Probably in the future, the chance of getting killed in the accident will be even smaller, but it will still be there, be there probably. Even if we have optimized cars that drive themselves and are almost perfect, there will still be a chance. So this is probably the only thing that will be able to kill us and wars and so on. But let's hope there will be no wars in the future. But anyway, another, another subject again as well. But I think it's uh, important to, to, to remember that, uh, you know, the future could be, could be bright. Let's not uh, 
get us all, let's not get depressed by watching media and, and, and thinking it's only getting worse and worse and worse, you know, it's getting worse maybe in some areas, in some areas it's getting better. So let's hope for a better future and um, remember a great way to contribute to humanity is to increase your awareness, your knowledge and share it with others. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace.